welcome back everybody now serious gaming production today i'm here with the dominion guilds and cornucopia expansion i found a good deal well these are both half expansions if i got them in the same box i saved about ten dollars so if you want to link to that have it down in the description below uh if you don't know what dominion is go look it up these are expansions to the game i'm just going to be going over all the cards my general thoughts and then the price of these two so yeah, um, link down in the description, uh, if you don't know what Dominion is, then this will pretty much be meaningless to you. I have plenty of other great videos on the channel about like, vlogs, I went to Paris once, go check that out, I have a playlist. So anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. Take off all the plastic. So I looked up some of these cards, but overall I'm not too sure what's, some of these I won't know what's in here. So here, uh, Dominion's a card game, for those who don't know. Uh, that's, it's a little confusing beside that, so. Okay, this is the guild's hold here, Fusk. Okay, so, th so this is to reveal it. Love games. Uh, this, the rules for both of these. Okay. They have this. Oh, these are the coin, oh my goodness, these are real metal. These are actually kind of heavy, like, like I can... Yeah, dude, these aren't plastic, you can do them. Uh, these are more games. Just some ads. Okay. Let's begin. I'm not going to know which are Dominion, which are not. I can probably guess. So let's go in. I'm looking at some... I'm looking at, I think, Cornucopia first. So we have... Yeah. Farm Village. Plus two actions. Uh, here's the picture. I just like the art on these cards. It reminds me of Magic the Gathering. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Plus two actions. Reveal cards from the top of your deck. Until you reveal an action or treasure, put that card into your hand to discard the other cards. So that's Farming Village. How am I putting this in? Just Okay, put that down. Next we have, I think this is another thing from the Cornucopia. Fortune Tower, wait for it to clear up. Plus two, each other player reveals cards from the top of the deck until he reveals a victory or curse card. He puts it on top of he puts it on top and discards the other reveal cards. So that is very, very interesting. Eh, not mine. I don't know. I could see that being used, but I would rather pay more and get get something better. So next we have Hamlets. There's the picture. It's like a little country village. Plus one card, plus one action, you may discard a card. If you do, plus one action, you may discard a card. If you do, plus one buy. So that's not too bad. Lots of discarding. I like how it's not trashing, like I had Dark Ages. I did not like trashing all my stuff, so. Yo, Hamlet. Ooh, there's lots of Hamlets. Reveal the top four cards. Oh, reveal the top four cards from your deck, uh, then discard them, plus one. Put it to clear up again so I can read it. Put differently named card revealed. So, for five? That's kind of expensive. I don't know. Probably not what I'm gonna do for the harvest. Ooh, a treasure card. I would love getting new treasure cards. So, it gives you zero money. Ooh, that's. When you play this, gain a card costing up to one per differently named card you have in play, counting this. If it's a victory card, track this. So if you buy a victory card with this, it comes for good bit of those. So I guess you don't want to buy victory cards with that. That's not not a good idea. Okay, horse horse traders. Plus one buy, plus three. When another player plays an attack card, you may set this aside from your hand. If you do, then at the start of your next turn, plus one card and return this to your hand. So you can still do the action next turn. So that's pretty good. I wouldn't say that's the best action reaction. At least you can still play the card. I like that. I like that feature of it. Okay. 
And like I said, I we're still in Cornucopia here. I will tell you when, 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 when we get into the guild cards. Hunting party, plus one card, plus one action. Reveal your hand. Reveal cards from your deck until you reveal a card that isn't a duplicate of one in your hand. Put it into your... Okay, so this is encouraging you to have variety. So buy a whole bunch of different cards. Jester. There's a, there's a couple jesters. Plus two. Each other player discards the top card of his deck. If it's a victory card, he gains a curse. Otherwise, either he gains a copy of this card, card or you do your choice. Ooh, so if there's no curse card, it'd be really good. I don't I like Jess though, and he gives you two gold right off the bat. Okay. This is still um Mirage. Yeah, Mirage. Plus one action, reveal your hand. If there are no duplicate cards in it, plus three cards, otherwise plus one card. Eh. It it's not that good if you don't if it doesn't work. So yeah, okay, next we have we make. Okay, do this twice. Ooh. Treasure card from your hand and gain a card costing exactly one more than the trash card. Eh. If you're doing it twice, I guess it's not that bad. Okay, I think this is a continuation of the cornucopia cards let me see yeah yes Ooh, i'm not sure okay i'm gonna look real quick at the guilds and check and see when we get into guild cards okay so we're good i've not gotten into any of the guilds cards yet we make oh just had that Okay, tournament. There's a lot of tournaments. And this is still a cornucopia card. Plus one action. Each player... Why can I not see it? Each player may reveal a province from his hand if you do. Discard it, gain a prize from the prize, or a duchy putting on top of your deck. No one else does. Plus one, plus one. So, what are the prizes? Let's, let's, are they, am I going to get to see prizes? If you want, then Cornucopia is the bigger and better, in my opinion, expansion here. So, uh, most of these cards will be Cornucopia cards. Okay. And I'll show you the prizes in a minute. We have Fairgrounds. It's the victory card out of this. We'll have two for every five different named cards in your deck. So, I'm guessing... Uh, let me see. You could, you could have a pro possible, like, 15. So, it could be Wolf of, Wolf of Province. Eh, not really my time. Not, not worth it, because it could only be worth a couple. Oh, the prizes look good. And there seems to be five prizes, so... They're not planning on you getting many of these, so you got Bag of Gold. Wait, Bag of Gold, plus one action, gain a card, gain a gold, putting it on top of your deck. And that's just permanent. Ooh, a treasure. So it's worth two by itself. Focus. When you play this, plus one. Ah, goodness, focus. When you play this, plus one per unused action you have. Eh, that's not the best. Ooh, followers. Plus two cards gain and they stay. Each of the player gains a curse and discards down to three cards in hand. Okay, that's pretty good. Princess. Plus one buy while this is in play. Card costs two less, but not less than zero. So it could be, it could still be cost of zero. Okay, trusty steed. Ooh, look, a pony. Choose two, plus two card, plus two action, plus two gold, gain four silvers, and put them into your deck or discard pile. In discard pile. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, so there are the prizes. And this is all cornucopia, guys. Look at look at all this we got. Ton of cornucopia. Okay. I uh, yeah. This is part okay, so this is not cornucopia. Yes, he is still from cornucopia. Young witch. Plus two cards, discard two cards. Each other player may reveal a bane card from his hand. If he doesn't, he gains a curse. And set up attic each kingdom card pile. Cards from that pile are bane cards. Okay, so 
Uh, okay, extra kingdom pile. I don't know what that means, but. Hey, there's a ton. Yeah, there are a ton of those. Okay, I'm still on the. Uh, Uh, does this begin? Oh, I'm in guilds now. So now guys, all this is the Cornucopia expansion. All the cards I've read up to this point have been from the Cornucopia expansion. Next up, we have the guilds expansion. Journeyman! Name a card. Wait, name, okay. Why is it not focusing? Name a card. Reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal three cards that are that are not the name that are not the name card put those cards in your hand discard the rest some of the focusing guys this camera you know it can focus it's just not doing it all that well let me just have some extras I'll sort those later extras okay extras here we go we have no treasure this treasure is in the guilds Masterpiece one. When you buy this, you may overpay for it. If you do gain a silver for one, you overpaid. So it's only good if you overpaid for it. Beside that, it's just worthless. Ah, uh, more harvest. One sec. Going through here. Okay. Some more masterpieces. Oh, there we go. Merchant Guild. Plus one. Buy plus one. While this card is in play, you may buy a card. Take a coin token. Okay. I will show you guys the coin tokens now. Yeah, there we go. So I'm trying to kind of organize these while well, at the same time just trying to get through this video as quick as possible for you guys. Here we go. Plaza. Plus one card, plus two actions. You may discard a treasure card if you do take a coin token. So this this is all about coins. If you haven't noticed, you know, get coins. Advisor. Plus one action will be a top three cards of your deck. The player to your left chooses one of them. Discard that card. Put the other cards into your hand. I don't like that because it's like you, they're gonna discard the best card. Not. Not what I, I don't know. Not my, not my favorite. Yeah, there's a bunch of those. Look at that, it's a big pile. Baker! Plus one card, plus one action, take a coin token, set up each player, takes a coin token. Huh, not bad. So at the beginning of the game, everyone gets a coin to start off with. That's cool. So if you have Baker, everyone stopped off with the coin token. And I will show you the coin tokens real quick. I'm not sure where I'm going to store these. And this is like a special place for this one. Look here, they are real metal. They got a little shield in the back. Let's see, where it looks. Mm. Got a bunch of gold. They're too heavy, so I don't want to slosh them around. Okay. Those off to the side. So there we have our bakers. Next we have. Ooh, I like this card. I really like this next one. It's the soothsayer. Gain a goad. Each other player gains a curse. Each player who draws. Each player who did draws a card. So yeah. So every player that you force to get the curse, they get to draw a card. I just like that one, though. Okay. Next up we have the... Well, I was just... I thought there was no pile of cards. Oh. We're gonna go through some of these now. The Butcher! You know, we'll, just, we'll just make this a full stack. Let's make it quicker, quicker. Butcher! Please load. Take two coin tokens. You may trash a card from your hand, and you may pay any number of coin tokens if you did trash a card. 
gain a card with the cost up to the cost of the trash card plus the number of coins token you paid. So I don't know. That's okay. It's a good. I don't know. I don't like trash and stuff. So not my not my card. Not your card if you don't like trash and stuff, which I don't. So. Candlestick maker. If you see many of these things, just simple things for like two or three, and then you get, you know, usually plus one action, plus one buy, take a coin token. So, yep. Yeah. These are all fine. I got nothing against these. For like two gold, I'm not gonna pay five for the baker though. The baker's overpriced now. I would say the merchant guild's overpriced too. Doctor. Name a card with your the top three cards of your deck, trash the matches, put the rest back on top in the order. When you buy this, you may overpay for it. For each one you overpaid, look at the top card of your deck, trash it, discard it, or put it back. Ooh. So you can overpay for it. I like overpays. You know, those are kind of cool. There's another overpay. The Herald. Plus one card, plus one action, reveal the top cards of your deck. If it is an action, play it. Uh, not bad. When you buy this, you may overpay for it. For each one you overpaid, look through the discard pile and put a card from it on top of your deck. Oh, so the overpay there is pretty good. I wouldn't overpay that much for it, but, you know, you could overpay like one or two. Okay, I'm going through here. Seeing if there's any cards I missed. Yep, I did. Okay, the stonemason for two, and then you can overpay. Uh, treasure card from your hand, gain two cards, each costing less than it. What? Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. When you buy this, you may overpay for it if you do gain two action cards, each costing the amount you overpaid. I don't overpay. Eh. No, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I'm, over, I'm okay with the overpay, but these overpay cards aren't that good. Here we go. No one. Tax man. You may trash a treasure from your hand. Each other player with five or more cards in hand discards a copy of it. Reveals a hand without it. Gain a treasure card costing up to three more than the trash card. Put it. Okay, I like that. I like I like tax man. I like tax man. And then they give you a bunch of blanks, so you can make your own, yay! And that's the point pile. Well, anyways, guys, if we stand back, one sec. We got, I would say Cornucopia is by far the better one. Cornucopia would have cost me more. So overall, I would say if you're gonna buy these, buy them together. Overall though, these are not great expansions. Like, uh, the Seaside one had the little coins also. I had the little coins too. And it doesn't come with that many coins. The coins are nice metal. They're nice and solid. Uh, I would say, though, just like overpaying. Eh. You know, it does, like I said. I'm gonna hold this up. Oh, it does come with a good bit of cards, but. Yeah, some of these are okay. Some of these not so good. I don't know. You tell me what you think in the comment section below. Well, thank you all, guys, so much for watching. I'm gonna rate this out of 10. I rate this 6. These, are, these were not the best expansions. Uh, more expansions I'll be getting soon, but it wasn't terrible. Like, I heard that this was one expansion that, like, just does, doesn't add much at all, so. Compared to these, where they do have, like, overpaying and, you know, some new treasures, so. Thanks, guys, for watching. Like this video, subscribe for more content. Wacky Place will be... Guild!